Hello everyone, in this guide I will work through the uh, configuration of uh, PF blocker on PF sensor as a domain and content filter. Uh, sometimes uh, squid guard uh, doesn't work properly with the mobile phones and IoT devices uh, because squid guard can't do the uh, man in the middle service uh, sometimes uh, most of site uh, moved into SSL encryption uh, recently because most of site using SSL encrypted website uh, so that's why squid guard can't do the man in the middle uh, and filter some websites and their contents uh, okay uh, let's uh, head over to what are the requirements uh, we need to know about uh, uh, first major thing is uh, pfSense should be the default DNS server which pointed into client host uh, so uh, pfSense IP should be the uh, client host DNS server primary default DNS server that's the major thing uh, okay uh, now let's get started okay first of all we need to create uh, two firewall rules to do so uh, head over to firewall tab and select rules from the drop down menu select LAN interface tab and simply click on the add button uh, in this case I am going to use my new firewall rule on top of all the other firewall rules which I have currently click add button and now I need to create new firewall rule for the one first one for the allow dns to pf sense in this case i'm going to use my lan interface pass and address family ipv4 protocol udp source any destination should be lan network and uh, in this in here we need to specify dns port default dns port is 53 and then I'm going to name it love DNS to PF sense and then click save and hit apply button as the same way uh, we need to create another role uh, which used to block all the other DNS queries uh, outside the uh, WAN interface so to do so we can clone the same firewall rule in here we need to block through the LAN interface address family IPv4 protocol UDP and then all the traffic coming through the LAN net destination any then move down further and provide a name block all other DNS and hit the save button and click apply okay now we have created two rules for the DNS queries okay now from here the action begins first of all uh, we are going to install PF blocker package uh, to do so you need to install the pfSense package on pfSense appliance uh, once login to main pfSense page click the system and select package manager from the drop down and click the available packages and once the available packages page loads type pf blocker and hit enter now we are going to install this package on my pfsense box hit the confirm button uh, this may take a uh, little bit longer because uh, uh, this installation 
uh, have uh, bulk of dependency files so uh, please keep waiting Once installation is completed, PF Blocker appears in uh, installed packages section. Okay, uh, now PF uh, Blocker configuration uh, can begin. Uh, before that, we need to reconfigure our uh, PFSense DNS resolver according to our requirement, uh, which need to redirect DNS queries in order to uh, filter out bad domains. Uh, this means clients on the LAN interface uh, need to use PFSense as default and primary DNS resolver. Uh, to do so, now head over to Services tab and select DNS resolver uh, from the drop down menu. Now uh, check whether DNS resolver has been enabled already. Set the listening port into 53 and uh, network interfaces. Ingress network interface should be LAN and localhost. You can uh, select both uh, using by pressing uh, control key and click relevant interfaces. Uh, you can select multiple interfaces uh, then now outgoing network interface uh, egress uh, outgoing network interface should be WAN interfaces and here I'm going to click WAN 1 and WAN 2 and now good to go Hit the save button apply changes now we are ready to configure pf blocker general settings now head over to uh, firewall tab and select pf blocker ng from the uh, drop down menu head over to general tab in the uh, general settings section uh, fill the following fields first of all we need to enable keep settings should be checked as well move down a little bit further in uh, interface rule configuration section head over to inbound firewall rule section select van interfaces and select block at the same way go to outbound firewall rule select LAN interface and select reject once it completed move down further and hit save now move to DNS BL tab in here in the DNS BL section fill out the following fields enable DNS BL enable TLD I'm not going to enable this one in this case and you need to specify virtual IP address DNSPL virtual IP address enter an IP address is not in your internal network currently DNSPL listening port leave it as it is and DNS SSL listening port as well leave it as it is check whether DNSPL listening interface Select LAN or another internal interface to listening on. And in the DNSBL IP firewall rules settings section, list action, select deny both, enable logging should be enabled. In here, I am going to change. Uh, in here I'm not going to change any other settings in advanced inbound firewall 
role settings advanced outbound firewall res- uh, rule settings so on i don't want to change any of them uh, by now but uh, you can use uh, your own custom domains to whitelist uh, something like google.com uh, live.com and so on expand expand this section here are the my uh, whitelist domain you can see here google play google drive google accounts github outlook uh, in the same way you can use your own whitelist domains and click save button now we need to configure dns bl feeds uh, to configure dns bl feeds go to uh, dns dns bl feeds section and we need to create new dns bl feed entry hit the add button in this case you can use uh, some uh, useful references from this site now uh, head over to uh, this website uh, github steven black forward slash host website we need to add uh, uh, new entries into dns bl feed section uh, to do so uh, hit the add button in here provide dns uh, block list group select uh, this is a raw file which contains thousands of blacklisted domain copy this url and paste it here in the source section and provide header name select unbound in the list action section which controlled by dns resolver unbound package you can change select uh, any time range depending on your requirement in this case i am going to use every 12 hours update frequency and hit the save button as the same way we can add multiple entries select unbound as list action update frequency every 12 hour hit save Uh, now uh, once the uh, dns bl feed uh, entries completed hit the save button as the same way uh, you can define your own custom domains in here i am going to use to add my uh, custom domain list into under the social group in here you can see custom block list expand Uh, I will uh, mention all the resources, all these resources 
uh, on the uh, description section on my video uh, you can uh, either you can use my website uh, I will mention my website URL as well uh, please refer the description section of the video okay uh, now uh, hit the save button and finally save it again uh, now we need to update all these entries uh, through the internet uh, to do so head over to update tab select update button in the tick box and hit run uh, now uh, my uh, blacklisted database has been updated you can see here there are separate files located under var db pf blocker ng dnsbl section now it has been updated uh, now head over to status button select services from the drop down now uh, we need to restart dnsbl service and unbound service altogether now it's time to check whether it's working uh, now let's head over to uh, my client machine now uh, my client host has been pointed into pfsense dns and uh, pfsense and pfsense is my default gateway as well and let's look up www.google.lk 